Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 and 8 of Working. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. That's all you care about. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, because he brought somebody this time. Eh? <laughs> oh, it's just cute though. Your kids? That's a This kid? Maybe? Or just someone? We're gonna find out who she is today? <laughs> I don't know, because like, so I'm gonna say no on the kid, because they don't even look alike. I mean, mm. I mean, you know what? No, let me say something. I don't look like my mom. I look like my dad. I am literally a female version of my father. <laughs> because I look nothing like my mom. It's true though, because usually they always say boys look like their mom and girls look like their dad. But for me, almost exact replica of my father. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Maybe she's the best girl everybody keeps telling me about. I don't know. Well, it looks like Kyoko san didn't handle this. Well, yeah, Kyoko. <laughs> you I don't think you can eat her. Or did she follow you? Okay. Okay, Yoda. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. There's a little bit of mysterious suspicion about her. I don't know. <laughs> oh, she is literally a compulsive liar. I mean, damn. <laughs> oh, wait, Coco, don't be too mad. Oh. You're just telling me, you know, no matter what, Kyoko-san just wants food. 
And if you say, hey, I quit, and she'd be like, no, I'm not taking no for an answer, you give her speech, be like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Come here. I don't know about her. Come here. Huh? Mm. Mm -mm. I'm gonna let you find. Come here. Okay, Alan. Yeah. Oh my god. You know what? It's okay. <laughs> He's the one I hoped you even though you had to do it by yourself. Mm She has nothing on her finger. Oh my, are you serious? Well, yeah, but he's looking for his wife. Um, <laughs> uh, are you Oh. <laughs> Or at least buy her like a mini fridge or something. Well, no, a mini fridge ain't gonna hold all that nacho. So I mean, damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? <laughs> oh my god! Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> oh god slowly but surely she is falling for her in carriage <laughs> I 
can't with her. You know, y'all show some hair like, mm, hold up. I, mm. <laughs> he's nice, but he's not the one I'm attracted to. There you go. That's all she heard. <laughs> uh oh. Mm -hmm. It's okay for each other. Poor <laughs> Ali. At least you tried. Oh, God. <laughs> Owie, just give up this idea, please. Oh. Get my healthy bag. Give it about like a couple of episodes. So, probably be back by the end of season one. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Poor baby. Oh my god. She's kind of like my dog. When I leave to go somewhere, he's like, oh my god, no. Separation anxiety. Of course you do. Look how excited she gets. <laughs> oh, she's adorable. Oh my god. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Them some crocodile tears. Come on. She barely crying. Okay. Ah! She had to plan that. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
she got you wrapped around your little fingers, uh, her finger as well. I mean, mm, she about to own the crap out of these men. girlfriend mm -hmm. I mean you know yeah you know that would be fair but you know I mean because you talk about Kyoko san so much <laughs> I mean, you can't just outright say it to her because now she's just like, oh my God. <laughs> Always eating, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Big no no. But technically, it already is in a way. Please don't. He's just distracted. <laughs> they both are. Like, I mean, mm. <laughs> of course. But <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> Mm 
Are you kidding me? This is how this is gonna get solved. <laughs> you fall for her? Don't get distracted. What you got it? No, Allie. Exactly. Jesus, I can't. <laughs> Hold up. Yamada. <laughs> Can you imagine how many how much did she breaks in a day? Just a day. I can't imagine a week or a month, but mm. I hope she replaces those, like, some way, somehow. <laughs> she adorable, though. I think this has to be the girl that everybody was talking about. Like, yeah, 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 like, my best girl ain't even here yet. She gonna come. I don't know if it is her. It could be somebody else that we haven't seen yet. And maybe, um, it could be, like, she's coming in season two or season three. I don't know, but... It seems like it because she's just the newest one and I feel like she's the last one to make this group complete. It makes sense in a way. I don't know. But, okay. So, <laughs> Yasha, oh my god. Their relationship. I mean. Oh god, is she about to go back on Kyoko? Oh, wait, is Ellie looking out the window? You know, that would make the most sense. Why do I feel like, hold up. <laughs> I think I know what it's gonna be, right? <laughs> oh, we'll just wait until the next episode. Okay. But just the, the love triangle of Kyoko. So <laughs> Hey, I you know. Oh my god. I mean, I, I still don't know what to say about it. It's just, there are times, like, Sato can't help but fall in love with Gashiro because, I mean, it's Gashiro. But the fact is, I love the fact that she's so, like, in love with Kyoko. <laughs> but she, in particular time when she's around Sato, what does she mainly talk about? Kyoko! 
But I mean, Kyoko San is right. Like, if someone was to fall in love with someone else, and then next thing you know, it's a three way freaking love triangle, and you have to choose between just one, that makes the workplace like a little more like drama esque and stuff. I mean, I don't think you want that. You want everybody to be nice, happy, you know, no drama. But then, you know, Owie came in and. <laughs> Owie. <laughs> I mean, Owie, I, I don't even know what else to say about her. She's just, she's funny. I felt like every single time when I hear her talk, I can't believe her. She kind of reminds me of, and it's only really because the compulsive liar ish and everything, um, of how we kind of felt about Kaiki from Monogatari. And I, I have like a love hate relationship with Kaiki, but as officially meeting her and knowing like, the little teeny middle butter. I like her, but at the same time, I'm looking at her like, you know, what if everything you're telling me right now is a lie and I can't believe you? Because some of the things, and you can tell by her face, I mean, for you. <laughs> like, read her, like, in a heartbeat. Like, he knew that almost every little thing that she was saying was not the truth. So, I mean, still, she's adorable. She's the cutest little thing. I mean, mmm. She's not as cute as popular. I mean, <laughs> because popular is short. My short baby squirrel. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so basically, it's like this. For the four girls, or well, hold on, do we count? We technically count. We, yeah. Okay, so out of the five girls, we got one who's short. Um, a compulsive liar. That's two. Uh. <clears throat> Yashiro is just someone who is just <laughs> in love with Kyoko and carrying her sword. Um, what's your face? You got a problem with men. Just she can't talk. To her. <laughs> Kyoko is Kyoko. <laughs> Kyoko just hungry all the time. <laughs> and then you only have like three guys. You feel bad for him. I mean, mm. The crap that they have to deal with. <laughs> I mean, imagine, like, being born into a family and just being the only boy. <laughs> or being the only girl. I mean, well, no, because not really, there's not no problems about being the only girl in the family. But, I mean, the thing is with that, I think it's just, um, you know, when you get a boyfriend, <laughs> your brothers are like, on it, but like it's completely different when it's just one boy and a couple of girls and just like that. But I don't know. <laughs> you gotta fall bad for him. <laughs> I can't. My stomach hurts so much. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode eight. Okay, episode eight and three, two, one, go. Oh, that sucks. Of course. Hmm? But yeah, Ali, you can't be here. She read about that though. It's a coincidence that all of them are off on the same day. But still, Owie can't stay there. I mean, if it's going to take a whole day to repair the water, I mean, let her stay in somebody's house. Even though we know we going to, they're going to a hot spring today, but. Yeah, let her say this in my house. Yeah, Yashiro? Mm hmm. Yeah. Let her go to Yashiro's house. Mm hmm. Or. <laughs> so just let her go to somebody's house. And just, just for a day. I mean, 
This is why Otto Sancho like gave her some keys to his house so that when <laughs> he left to go find his wife, she could have somewhere else to stay. I mean, it's a little weird for this child to stay in a restaurant. Where's she sleep? That's all I want to know. I mean, she probably, yeah. She sleeps on the, um, with the tables. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, on the bars. That doesn't seem very comfortable. I mean, they're very, they're not that much comfortable for your butt. So they laying there? No. Uh uh. <laughs> No. <laughs> mhm. Mm Silly. Mm -hmm. Think that all she cares about is food. Yeah, and it just seems like you guys are going to go. I don't think the guys are going to go with you. Yeah, that's what you really got to worry about. The lies. <laughs> well, yeah, you're right about that. Because uh, the whole episode in 7, she, we didn't even see her. But she, she wasn't even there. Oh, God. Yeah, it takes time. She said three. No. Yeah, that's a death wish. Yeah, I figure you would want to go.
You gotta fuck up. Yeah, but this is your day off. I mean, you should go do something fun. Yeah, you know you want to go, so just go. Fine. Uh, of course she would call him. Are you serious? Hold up. <laughs> the call I was expecting. Oh, so sweet. Well, yeah. Figures they would take a bus. <laughs> of course. Well, you guys can always just take a bus or a taxi. You know what? There's extra, and then there's out. <laughs> of course, you can't say no to that face.
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, she looks like she's gonna be sick. <laughs> okay, you know, you know, like, just put your hands down. Hey, maybe hold Popular's hand. Look out the window like you. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> and where's the quickest gas station from here? How long is it? Hmm? Thank you, Coco. You got some extra gas. Oh my god. <laughs> so the one out. Oh my god! <laughs> it would make sense for Sosa and Shaman to get there first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't turn into a kappa and the next thing you know, you have to literally go fight? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm about to go with this. <laughs> What's his face right now? Oh my lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in the end, if you do hurt someone else, they might sue you, and I don't think we want that. <laughs> oh my god.
<laughs> the little kids in the group. Oh my god. Well, I hope he got gas so he could go home. Yeah. Yeah, you have a little rash with you know your phobia, but it's okay. You're fine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really think if he didn't go, you know, he would have possibly been sued by one, two, couple of men. Maybe some of them would have been like, no, it's okay, you're fine, but somebody probably would have sued her. Hmm. <laughs> Please don't. Mm -hmm. Maybe you didn't put enough water in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I really thought I was going to spit some water out. Oh! Ah! Choco just making me hungry. I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. I want food. I mean, the thing is, did he ever get gas? <laughs> Apparently he did. They just left. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
that was a big F you. Oh my god. That was a cute episode. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> Probably the cutest episode I've ever seen until we finish the show. <laughs> but you know what? I've said it once and I'll say it again. She's going to get over her phobia. It may have to take the whole freaking series because I feel like we've technically had what? Like one, two episodes where we've literally had an intervention with her and be like, hey, you got a problem. We know what your problem is. I mean, but we're all going to be, you know, a group together. We're your coworkers. We're going to help you get over this phobia. But I mean, seeing her and like the guy who bumped her behind her and the fact that she was like ready it's just like oh my god but yes one day she is literally going to punch the crap out of someone who is not her co-worker and she's just gonna be i'm gonna be over here like oh my god like oh my god she just did that and it's gonna be like the most hilarious thing ever but at the same time i'm gonna be like oh my god this girl gonna get sued <laughs> but that's exactly what's gonna happen She's gonna get her butt suit. And she's gonna have to pay it off. I mean, that's like. That's assault! <laughs> that is assault! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't! Oh, girl. Well, you know what? If Cloud in Final Fantasy VII can dress like a girl, our main character can. <laughs> if this really happens next week, it's going to be fucking hilarious and I'm going to love it so much. <laughs> oh, you know me, son. I love her so much. I mean, she ain't my best girl. I'll tell you that. She's not. I, but I still love her. She's just, you know... She's a work in process, and I think, you know, by the end of the series, when we get to the final season, and we see how much she's grown, well, I see, I've seen how much she's grown, um, I think she might end up maybe being, like, top, like, three for me, maybe, I don't know, it's just right, take it one day at a time, girl, you know, she, cause she's getting it. A for effort. That's all. That's all I can say. I mean, but to punch him all in four and four times in one day. I mean, yeah, that's a problem. But you know, hey, I mean, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> you do what you got to do. It just take it one step at a time. But I feel like, yeah, by the end of the series, I think she's going to be like a complete and total different person. That like, I'm gonna be looking at her like, hold up, wait, is this the same character from? the first half of this show, like, the first season, and she's completely <laughs> Almost how, like, um, what the heck is her name from Danganronpa 2? I can't remember it. Oh my god. Okay. I have to describe it to her, to you guys. She, she's the pigtail girl, and she, like, literally bullies Mahiru, and, like, um, no, she's technically friends with Mahiru, and then she bullies, um, the nurse, like, so much. But then you see her, like, older, and she's more wise and mature, and you're looking at her like, this is not the same little girl who was literally kicking what's-her-face's butt in the freaking anime or the game, and now she's just, like, a very poised young lady, woman-ish, and, and I feel like that's gonna happen to her. Who knows? I mean, we ain't gonna know until we finish the series, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 7 and 8 of season 1 of Working. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys!